So yesterday we started with the basics and now as you can see I've got my aesthetic sorted, I've got my background. So what I want to do now is start adding in some detail and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in an updating date. Now the reason we do that is because we're going to, need to use a lot of things that relate to this with formula later on. Now I'm going to put a table in, just a basic table first of all, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to shrink this right down. So I'm going to take out all of my columns and rows until I've just got one left, and then what I'll also do is take out my heading. And what that's going to allow me to do is just have this one box left that I'll be able to put stuff into um, and put my formula into that we're going to be using today. So to start with, I'm going to just change the table title. So I'm going to put today's date in here so that I can then use that again for my aesthetic. It's just another thing where we can see exactly what we're going to put in. Again, I can change this and adapt it as I need to. So I can change where the text is in the box. I can change the font. I can change the sizing. So we can use it exactly to fit in with our aesthetic. So now I've got it in the place where I want it to, I'm going to click in the box that I've got left on my cell. So in the cell, I'm going to put in a formula. So I type in and I click the equals button. You won't see that on the formula down the button, it just opens the formula. And then I'm just going to simply click today, type that in and click the, plus, uh, the tick button. What we now have is an updating date and every day that will update automatically. I don't have to change anything. I don't have to do anything. Again, I can change the font and the shape and the sizing of this, but ultimately what this is going to allow me to do is use my sheet and change it in lots and lots of different ways. So this is just an essential thing to have um, as part of your to-do list sheet. So some of the main things we're going to use this for in future tutorials is to be able to look and see if something's on time, if something's coming up that we need to do, or if it's on the date that we need to do it, or if it's even overdue, just so that we can see exactly what needs to be done on our to-do list. Thanks for taking the time to listen all about how to make our to-do list. Please do keep following for more information on how to use numbers.